Hey everybody, Pete here. Uh, we just released our Chatter NC Editor extension for Visual Studio Code, and I wanted to go through a few of the features and mainly kind of explain this whole version control concept because I know it's new to um, a lot of people in the machining industry. So um, let's get right into it here. Essentially, how we would go through this is, is open a file and then open the NC Editor extension, and this is sort of what you'd see. Um, it will parse out the operations, the tools used, you can navigate around, that's great. Um, and then in here you'll see the bottom two are version history and version control. So what is this? Um, essentially this is for allowing you to keep track of different changes in your programs, be able to make comments on them and uh, track when they're good for production, when they're proven in a machine, when they need to be proved out. And it's something that we use in programming a lot. Um, and it lives on top of this piece of software called Git. Uh, not to be confused with GitHub. GitHub is an online uh, repository for a local Git repo. So that's really one important concept to understand, which is really important in a machining environment, is that when using Git, you are actually keeping all those versions on your computer, which is great. They don't go anywhere. They don't go to chatter servers. They don't go anywhere unless you explicitly tell it to do that. Uh, so what is Git? Uh, let me pull up the page for Git. So this is um, essentially Git. They have a very lovely website, but believe it or not, this is, uh, you know, pretty much all of the programming world runs on this. Uh, so it's a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, Git is easy to learn. That's the part that's not really true. <laughs> Git is very complicated to use, so what we've done in the extension um, is to try to make it very easy. So essentially, when you come in here, you're either going to see this or you're going to see that you don't have Git installed. And it'll give you a little link which you can press. You can come through on here and you can just hit uh, you know, download for whatever OS you're using. There's an install process. You can leave everything as defaults. Just get it installed on there. Restart Visual Studio Code. And then you should see um, in your directory this initialize button. So what's this? Right now we're sitting in a directory, and the directory has one file. Git works on the directory level. So typically if you have different jobs, you're going to want them each in their own directory so that you can control them uh, differently rather than having one huge repository of you know, all your programs. So um, in here, we're going to do an initialize, and we're going to enter every commit in um, which is basically a version and get is uh, included has a commit message so you know by default it's just initial commit so we put that in there and it shows up and now we have our first commit and then we have version control has commit and discard changes right now these buttons don't do anything because we have no changes made but uh, let's just say we make a simple change I want to come through um, you know to this operation here and say I want to change my contour control setting. You'll notice these buttons just became enabled. So uh, you can either commit the changes or you can discard them. So I'm going to save this file. Now they're ready to commit. I'm going to hit commit. I'm going to say uh, changed AICC mode for uh, roughing op. Cool. So now that comes up in the version history. We have initial commit and change AICC mode. And if you look at this uh, here, when I move between these branches, or sorry, between these commits, that actually changes. So let's just say I, um, you know, add a comment. You know, you can add as much or as little or whatever as you want. So let's say I add all that in, and I can commit, and I can say added a bunch of nonsense. And now that's in here, and you can go through these commits and see the differences. So let's say oh, that was done for demo. We really want to be here. You can right click and hit reset here. And then you're going to confirm. So now that's gone. And we have a clean head. When you're making new commits, you always want to make sure that you have that top um, branch selected so you're building on top of it. Or sorry, that top commit selected so you're building on top of it. That's real important. So now we have that gone. And you know, let's say we want to make a change uh, you know, to this here and you know, add something to it. Test, save, commit. Let's say, oh, actually, I don't want to commit. I just want to discard these changes. Just hit discard changes. 
now you're back to this head commit here. So that's basically how Git works. I do want to stress this is not a cloud-based thing. It's all on your computer. All your versions are stored right there. So it's you know subject to uh, the same security that you already have. Um, and in the future, we are looking to do um, a bit of uh, you know remote uh, you know cloud syncing, so you'll have backups and stuff like that, and um, actually have it on GovCloud, so it's not even going through chatter servers. And you know we can get full compliance with with whatever you know regulatory body you might be subject to. But again, not everybody wants that, um, so you always have um, the option, like you do now, to have it right on your computer. And as long as you have your hard drive backed up, you're good, and you've got all your versions. So. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. My email is pete at chatter.dev.